If you have a workbook set up for people to enter data, you might want to make sure that they enter only valid information in some cells. And today we'll take a look at how you can use data validation to control what dates are being entered. So this first one, we've just got a spot where someone could enter a shipping date. Things should only have been shipped yesterday or today or tomorrow. So in this cell, I would like a little drop down list that shows those three dates. Now, I don't want to have to come into this workbook every day and set up a, a list with the three dates that are applicable. I want this to change automatically every day. So on another worksheet here, I've got a little list where I'm going to put in a formula that will figure out what day it is. So if we use the today function, if I click in here and type equals today, and then open and close brackets and press enter, it puts today's date. Now I want this first cell to show yesterday's date. So that would just be today's date minus one day. So I'll type minus one and press enter and there's yesterday's date. Now these two cells would just add a day to this date. So I'll start with an equal sign, click on the cell above, plus one and enter. And that's our formula. So 11 and 12 and then I can just drag that down and 13. I want to give this list of dates a name and then I can use that name to create the drop down list on the other sheet. So all three cells are selected. I'll click here in the name box and I'm going to type a one word name and then press enter. I'll call this date list. Press enter and there's our name. So now I'm going to the sheet where I want this list to appear and up on the data tab of the ribbon, I'll click data validation and on the settings tab, I would like a list and as the source, I'm going to press the F3 key. That opens up paste name and here's a list of any names in this workbook. So I'll double click on date list and it puts an equal sign and then the list name. Now I could have just typed that, but it's much easier to have Excel paste it for me and then click OK. So now here's our drop down list and I can select any one of those three valid dates and it makes it easy to do a correct date on a worksheet. In the next example of controlling what dates can be entered, we're going to have a vacation request form. And we want to make sure that people pick a starting date for their vacation that's in the range of dates that we're planning for. So on this sheet, I've put start date and end date. We're going to be using these as names, so I did not put a space. It's just all one word, just like we named the date list in the previous example. So here's the start date and we're going to plan vacations for 2017. So the start date would be January 1st. And the last date that we'd want them to book anything would be the end of December. Next, I'm going to name these two cells. I'll select the labels and the cells with the dates. Then go to the formulas tab, create from selection. And here we can create names from values in. Well, we don't want something from the top row. We want it to get the names in this left column. Click OK. Now if I click on this cell, you can see start date is its name and there's end date. So now we can just refer to those names and it'll pick up whatever value is in the cell. So here's the cell where we want to check what date is being entered. Go to data, validation, and on the settings tab, we're going to allow a date between, and then we're going to put in a start date and end date. Now we could have typed those dates, but that just makes it harder to maintain. Next year, we'd have to remember to come in here and change the dates. So I'm going to click in the start date cell 
and again I'll press F3 and here's my list I want the start date so double click and now go down to end date press F3 and double click on end date and those are the values it's going to get from the worksheet and click OK. So now if I type any date in 2017 that's fine. If I'll, I'll try and type something in 2016 and I get an error message. And one other example of checking a date. In this one we want to make sure that the date that's entered here is in the current year. So going up to data validation we can allow and this is going to be a custom formula and in this formula cell so I'll type in equals and we'll use the year function to check the year that's in C4 and that should be equal to the year in and we used this function earlier the today function will give us the current date and then two brackets for today and a bracket to end the year and click OK. So now if I type something in 2015 I'll get an error and if I type today's date I'll just press control and semicolon and that is fine and we used a custom formula to check the year. For more Excel tips and tutorials, and to download the sample file for this video, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.